So let's get started. All right, let's make that go away, make that go away. Make that go away. Make that go away. Go ahead. How you been? Fix my audio there. Um, audio. Playback. Red Logitech. All right, so. For some reason it's not picking that up either. All right, so I don't know why my game sounds are not going through to Discord or Twitch. It might be going through to Discord. I have to update my stream here. And we'll get started in just a second. There we go. Is that the one I want? No, that takes up too much screen. Where's my other one? Right there. Where does that go? Device not available. <clears throat> Switching source. There we go. Now you can see me. All right, I haven't played in a very long time. Let's see here. My backpack is overflowing. I guess we'll put the 15th anniversary cloak on. Okay, don't need that. <sighs> so much stuff. Throw that away. Uh, Sentient XP.
Alright, do I have a sentient weapon? I don't think so. Out on this character. Alright, let's see here. Don't need that. Exactly that, I don't need any of that stuff, really. Bottle of Mist. Um, I don't remember what was in there. So, trash that. Trash that. Read that. Trash those. Trash those. We'll keep our pony. Trash that. Trash that. This is Lamania. I don't care about this stuff. about that summon summon pony don't need healers repair kits don't need that I think I already have that in there Don't need invisibility. Ugh. Three empty slots. Don't need to go to Barovia. do want to go back to the market. Oh, my CPU is getting warm. Still don't know what's going on with that. Hmm. Yeah, I already did turn you up once. I can hear you okay. Or did you get muted? No. Ooh, 
Epic Destinies now use this panel. Okay. So what do we got here? I don't know how I feel about this. All right, what do we got? Uh, Divine Crusader, Draconic Incarnation. Well, I was using, let's see here. Oh, so you can, I see. So now you can pick from multiple. All right. So I can do Divine Crusader, I can do Unyielding Sentinel, I can do, hey, Juman, how's it going? STN1970, hmm, kind of sounds familiar. Um... remember all right so looks like exalted angel isn't doesn't have isn't ready yet oh primal avatar yeah it looks like that's partially ready all right, so I got 26 points. We got Just Cause. Confront any foe. Your weapons are immune to durability damage. That's cool. Weather any blow. Armor class, physical resistance rating, plus 15, positive, negative, and repair amplification. Each core ability you take in this tree, including this one, grants plus 10 melee power, plus 8 range power, and plus 15 maximum hit points. Divine Smite. That, I don't think that's changed. Shield of Justice. Plus 5, 10, 15 secondary shield bash chance. Spear of Light. Um, plus one, two, three to attack rolls and damage. I remember that icon being used for something else before, but I don't know. Divine Sundering, plus two, four, and six under DCs. That would probably go well with that, um, Artificer tree that does stuff with Sunder, like Mighty Hammer or whatever it is. Uh, Consecration, that's a tier one still, that's good. Epic Strike, the ground you're standing on is consecrated while standing on consecrated ground. You and your allies heal every three seconds for one point of energy level, energy per character level. It looks like all three tiers are the same. Oh, the cooldown goes down from 30 to 25 to 20. So all you get is a better cooldown. That could be important. Divine Deflection, plus one, two, three to all saving throws with an additional one, two, three saves versus enchantments. Bulk Up, that sounds new, plus five, 10, 15 maximum hit points, plus 25, 55, 75% fortification. Shield of Light, plus two, four, and six. Magical Resistance Rating with rank three. While holding a shield, you have Magic Missile Immunity as per the shield spell. That's good. That's an addition. Holy Mantle. Divine Crusader Destiny Mantle. Weapons and shields you wield are considered to have your alignment for DR purposes. Your base attack bonus is equal to your character level. Okay. Endless Smiting. Plus two, four, six uses of Smite Evil. Smite Evil regenerates 10, 20, 30% faster. You gain True Seeing and are immune to blindness. Gaze of the Divine. Your Divine Crusader Destiny Mantle now grates grants favored weapons plus one, two, three to the 
to their enhancement bonus. Rank 3 extra bonus. Favored weapons are also now considered implements to you automatically and gain plus one weapon. All right. That looks useful. Come on, mouse. Axiom of Faith. You may select a religion to be considered a follower of that religion and use its favorite weapon. Hmm. Let's see if I can get to that. Oh, I can't actually select any of these. Okay. So I can't spend any points. I can just look and see what the things are. Consecration now grants Crusade to allies who stand inside of it and burns enemies that step inside. Enemies take 1d6 damage split between fire and light damage per character level with both damage types scaling with your fire spell power. Crusade plus 10 damage lasts 4 seconds refreshed every 3 seconds while standing within the consecrated ground. How dare you strike me? Go to Fate Spinner. Oh, I have to go to this Fate Spinner to spend points? You, know, you shouldn't have to as a VIP, but I'll do that in a second. Uh, being struck by offensive magic has 10% chance to regenerate a smite evil recharge. 20%, 30%. Rank 3, when you are struck below 50% hit points, you automatically consecrate the, gra the ground at your location. This may only trigger once every two minutes. Yeah. So you don't even have to click the Consecrate button. It automatically triggers once every two minutes if you're below 50 hit points. All right, let's go to the Fate Spinner. Apparently you have to go to the Fate Spinner to spend points, maybe? We'll find out in a minute. Um, I've got a horse. All right. You have to talk to the respective Destiny people once per character. Ah, so I have to turn it on. I have to turn the new stuff on. And then I can use it anywhere with my VIP. Okay. All right, there's that. Uh Let's go over the Fate Spinner. I don't need to go to the dojo. Junction of the Spheres, huh? Ah, I see. Where does that go? Divine Sphere. Oh. I see. So unlocking destiny trees earn fate points as well. Builders, each tree will have at least one powerful active ability in tier one. 
that will build a charge based on the sphere of that destiny, martial, primal, divine, and arcane. You can only hold three charges of each type. All builders share a cooldown. Spenders, trees always have at least one or more ways to spend charges, generally using powerful activities or actives. Looks like powerful actives. Spenders do not require charges, but increase in power when consuming them. Spenders sometimes generate additional effect if a certain number of charges are consumed. Ah, Psychoblonde, that's who's messaging me. This is interesting. All right. Uh, epic levels. That doesn't look like epic levels have changed any. So let's, I guess we have to go to each one of these portals, turn the things on. All right. Exalt. Oh, all right. Hey, Skull Priest. DNT DBD in the future, this will contain more infant information about this epic destiny fear. All right. Unlocked. 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 Next tree. Dom the third piker extraordinaire, huh? I CPU detected. Uh, I can't do anything about that. I don't have anything running except the basics. At least you can ride your pony through here. Saves a little bit of time, I guess. Looks like they're being in range circles a little bit shorter than most. Is this how they're redesigning the Epic Destinies? It would appear so. All right, and this looks like the last one. Oh, no, that takes you back out, okay. So now I should have them all unlocked. Hit Control E and I should be able to spend points. There we go, Design Crusader. Axiom of Faith. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted, I didn't want to spend any. I just wanted to be able to click on it to see what's going on. So you can add a secondary favorite weapon, basically. That would be really useful, actually. Because then I could go with my unyielding, my um, Sovereign Host, use my Longsword, and when I reach high enough epics, I could add Bastard Sword as a favorite weapon. And go with a hand and a half. I like that very, very much. You're digging this setup? Yeah, I'm liking some of the new stuff they're putting in here. All right. You gain the improved Sunder Feet. Cower before me. When you activate Consecration, nearby enemies must make a fortitude saving throw or become coward for four seconds. Cower makes an enemy helpless for the duration as they are paralyzed with awe at your presence. Only sentient creatures, undead, aberrations, and outsiders may be coward. DC 20 plus Sunder DC plus your highest ability score. Hmm. Okay. 
I mean, do they only have to make one saving throw per consecration? So one saving throw every 20 seconds when you hit the button? Or is it a, they have to make a saving throw every four seconds or whatever? Hmm, good question. Plus two, four, six, double strike and double shot. Your Divine Crusader Destiny Mantle now grants you the defensive traits of a Celestial. Plus 10 physical resistance rating and plus 10 acid, cold, and electricity absorption. In addition, you are immune to petrification. Ooh, people are going to like that. That was used to be a tier 5 petrification immunity, I believe, if I remember correctly. It has been a year since I played, so... Well, then I log on tonight. I'll be sure to check all this out. This is on uh, Lamania. And you have to have a special key to get into it today. Otherwise, it'll be open for everybody else tomorrow. All right. Plus one, two, three critical hit damage and critical hit confirmation. Or plus two, four, six if you have the power critical feat. This is a special preview for some of the streamers and stuff to... Um, be able to showcase some of this stuff and to be able to get a little bit of a head start on, you know, updating their blogs and the wiki and whatever. I'll be using a lot of this information on the wiki. Oh, let's see here. Mighty Crusade. Smite evil attacks. Apply the Crusade buff to your entire party for four seconds. You gain plus one AC, plus one PR for every two religious lore feats you have. I haven't gone in the training dojo yet, but I can do that in a minute. Uh, bring down Wrath. Your shield is now considered a favored weapon for the purposes of your Divine Crusader Destiny Mantle and may now double strike as if it were an offhand weapon. Hmm. Cool. Lord of the Divine chances enhances the embodiment of law feat to deal 1d6 law damage per epic level, scaling with 200% melee or range power, and apply a stack of vulnerability and armor destruction on critical hits. Hmm. I don't remember vulnerability being so high. So that might be a negative, but, you know. It's alright. It's still there. Just gotta get higher to get to it, if I remember correctly. Using, while well, using a favored weapon, plus one critical multiplier on a roll of 19 to 20. Celestial Steed. Conjure a blessed mount and travel forward for four seconds while retaining the ability to steal your, steer your character, becoming immune to all forms of crowd control for the duration and for 20 seconds after that. Enemies you run over while on the mount are subject to both a cower effect and a divine centering effect with no save for either component. The cower lasts four seconds. Okay. Unyielding Sentinel. Die hard. Uh, yeah. The day Jerry announced this, I immediately sent him a message on the forum and got accepted. There you go. Awesome. Make sure you update some stuff on the wiki as you go. <laughs> and again, everybody should feel free to pop into the DDO wiki discord. I am streaming there as well um, in the Lamania channel. So drop down to the Lumania group, and you'll see me and Foley and Wild Bile in the voice chat. Come on down and say hi. Each core ability of this tree, including this one, it grants plus 20 hit points, 20 spell points, and 10 melee power. That's nice. Stand against the tide. Okay, so tier 2. Um... You are protected by a ward against curses. This ward can only absorb one curse every 60 seconds. You take 10% less evil damage. And stand against the tide, tier 3. Immune to most forms of knockdown while wearing a shield. Do you have a link for your discount? Yep, uh, discord.me slash ddowiki. That's the ddowiki discord. Or pop on to ddowiki.com and click any of the links for the Discord, and you will be redirected here. 
All right, ever watchful. Plus two, four, six, listen and intimidate. Tier three, add immunity to blindness. All right. Hmm. All right, divine energy resistance. This SLA grants 35 resistance to acid, cold, fire, sonic, electric for one minute per character level. Cost 20 SP to all allies in the standard area of effect centered on the caster. You can apply metamagic feats to this SLA for free, extending quick in. The effect does not stack with a resist energy spell. Unyielding Sentinel Epic Strike. Multiple Enhancement Selector. We got... Come on. Celestial Mandate. Uh, cool down 4 seconds. Melee Attack. 6 Weapon. Adds 3,000 3, hate to target and slows their movement by 50% for 8 seconds. Grants a plus 3 bu buff to MR MRR and PRR for, four, for 8 seconds. Double this bonus if using a shield. Stack 6 times. Uh, so you can add 36 weapon and slow their movement by 300% for, or it's probably 50% for 42 seconds. Grants plus three, so that would be plus 18, buffed MM, MRR and PRR. I'll probably just double on the last part, the plus 3 to plus 18. Okay. So that's confusing. It says cool down 4 seconds, and then at the bottom it says cool down 4.5 seconds. They can't make up their mind. All right. Let's take a look at this one. Guard up. Gain a sacred temporary hit point shield equal to 300% of your melee power for 4 seconds. This can be used while... Crowd controlled. I gotta make some new templates for the wiki for these abbreviations that they're using. Because that's kind of frustrating to me. Alright, uh, we were going this way. Gain plus one, two, three to hit. Tier three, triple this bonus if using combat expertise. Plus 10, 25, 50% to fortification. Tier three, plus one to all saves. Uh, your shield's AC contribution is increased by 15, 30, 50 percent. Increases hate generation by 150, 300, and 450 percent. Knight's challenge requires shield to use. Throws a spiritual version of your shield at a single target for d20 law damage per character level. Scales with 200 percent melee power. Creatures struck by the shield reset their hate and are compelled to target the player for 8 seconds. Renewal. Uh, heals 1d2 HP per 2 character levels every 2 seconds for 8 seconds. So you get 4 ticks of at least 10d2 hit points. At level 20, which you'd have to be higher in order to have... Well, no, you could possibly spend that much points at a lower level. Or you could do it on a reincarnation. Um, as a spell-like ability, it benefits from metamagic feats at no additional cost. Mantle of the Sentinel, gain plus 5, 10, 15 healing amp. You absorb 5, 10, 15% of all force, fire, electric, acid, cold, sonic, chaos, and evil damage. Tier 3, you become immune to all mind control effects from evil creatures. Uh, gain the Lay on Hands feat. Using Lay on Hands now uses the highest of Charisma or Constitution score to determine its effect and also uses your total character level instead of Paladin level. Now that is nice. I would appreciate that. While wearing a shield, you gain plus 5, 10, 15% physical or 5, 10, 15 physical resistance, and at tier 3, 6% double strike. All right. Your mantle of the Sentinel now grants your melee attacks a chance to pulse out a wave of 1d3, 1d4, or 1d6. 
law damage per character level around the player once every eight seconds. Scales with the highest of 200% melee or light spell power. Spark of life. Any armor you wear gains death block. I mean, death blocks everywhere. It doesn't really do much. Um, when you first strike a foe with a melee attack, gain plus 2, 4, 6 damage, plus 10, 15, 25 PRR and MRR buff for 5 seconds. This effect will not occur until you are out of combat for at least 10 seconds. All right. What else we got going on in here? Uh, okay, we were on this one. Blocking a melee attack now grants plus one, two, four bonus to damage. Hit and critical damage for 12 seconds. This can occur only, this can only occur once every 12 seconds. We've got requires lay on hands for light the dark. Using lay on hands is now an AOE. Healing friends and damaging undead near the selected target. This effect scales with the highest of 200% melee power or 50% of spell power. Um, which spell power? Any spell power? That's a good question to ask. Is it healing spell power, light spell power? Uh, let's see here. You gain the Diffic Warding Feet. If you already have it, you gain plus five quality bonus to maximum hit points. Reborn in Light. Activate while dead once per rest. You are resurrected at full health for 30 seconds and you gain immunity to light damage at 50% incorporeality and gain one, plus 100 light healing and melee power. Cool down 10 minutes. So once per rest and no more than every 10 minutes. Uh, grain, uh, I guess that's supposed to be gain. A plus three, six, 10% insight bonus to maximum hit points. Double this bonus if you're using the mantle of the Sentinel on tier three. And finally, resurrection. You can now cast resurrection as an SLA. Cool down six seconds, cost 15 SP. All right, Primal Avatar, select your path. This is your nature, heart. You follow the path of the heart. The rest of this tree's options will be determined by this choice. Each core ability in this tree, including this one, grants the following. Plus five, fire, light, positive, and universal spell power. Plus 50 maximum spell points, plus one epic bonus to all DCs. This is your nature, sky. You follow the path of the sky. The rest of this tree's options, blah, blah, blah. Plus five electric, cold, sonic, and universal spell power. And then the other ones are the same. And then the last one is thorn. Uh, plus five acid, force, poison, and universal spell power. Okay. Stand against the tide. Nope, wrong one. Uh, now gross, so select the second path. So you pick another one of those. Um, heart, you gain a minor affinity for heart. You gain the following of each core ability you take in this tree. Plus three light, fire, and positive spell power. Uh, sky is electric, cold, and sonic. And thorn is acid, poison, and force. And then last one, weathering the elements requires one of now grow heart, sky, or thorn. Gain 15% absorption against fire, ice, acid, electric, poison. Whenever you cast any protection from energy spell, it grants you 25 points per level instead of 12 with no level cap. I'm going to check in the chat. Nothing going on there. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, we're down to four viewers, but that's all right. We don't care. All right. Seeking balance. Plus one, two, three reflex saving throws. Plus two tumble and balance. Uh, 246 and rank three if you're using a quarter staff you gain plus one damage and plus five universal spell power physical uh well weathered plus one two three physical and magical resistance rating 
It's the only one that has arrow paths that are requiring things. Um, epic Strike. Gain a primal spell based off your nature. Shares a cooldown with Epic Strike. So you click on that. It's a multi-selector. We got Carrion Swarm. Target enemy and all target enemy and all enemies within a small radius around them become becomes coward with biting acidic and poisonous insects every two seconds. They take 1d6 plus 1 acid and 1d6 plus 1 poison for two character levels for eight seconds. Stacks up to three times. Each stack also causes a minus four penalty to attack rolls and armor class. All right, spring to summer. A burst of butterflies forms around the caster in a small radius, applying a copy of Rejuvenation Cocoon to all allies. After several seconds, the butterflies burst into flames, causing 2d6 fire damage per character level to all nearby enemies. Reflex first, Evocation, DC 20 plus highest of Int, Wisdom, or Charisma for half damage. Stormcatcher. Uh, target enemy is instantly struck by a bolt of lightning for 1d6 plus 3 damage per level. Fortitude versus evocation, 20 plus highest of int, whiz, charisma for half damage. Target also becomes chilled to the bone for 8 seconds, slowing their movement and reducing their reflex save by half your character level. They also take... They also taking... They also take 1d6 per two character level in cold damage every two seconds. A lot of typos I'm sure that they will fix. Nature's Friend, so you still have your... Well, that's not a bat. That's a squirrel. Um, but I'm sure they'll fix the avatar for that. Looks like they have a lot of squirrels here. Squirrels everywhere! When you sit... To rest at a rest shrine, uh, you and your nearby party members are granting a buff, granted a buff that lasts until the end of your current quest, plus 10 sonic powers, 15 sonic absorption, 3 listen, bird of wind, 10 electric spell power, 1 dodge, and 3 spot, fox of flame, 10 fire power, 2 damage with sneak attacks, and plus 3 move silently, frog of the lake, when you sit, um, 10 cold spell power, 2 MRR, and plus 3 jump. Uh, Spider of the Deeps, 10 poison and acid spell power, 15 poison absorption. And Squirrel of Luck, 1 to attack damage and all saving throws. Then we got our Rejuvenation Carcoon. Which doesn't look like it changed. Oh, my back. Spirit Boon. We got Body. Uh, plus one Strength, Dex, and Con. And we have Mind, Intelligence, Wisdom, Charisma. Alright. What do we got? Thrive. Your Epic Strike in this tree. Now have 30% chance to grant Thrive when cast. Thrive reduces the cost of all spells by 25% enhancement bonus. For 10 seconds. Primal spell. Choose a powerful primal spell. Alright, we got Reborn in Fire. A swirl of fire surrounds you, dealing 1d6 fire damage per character to enemies. Per character level, probably. Reflex save for half. Uh, DC 20 plus evocation plus highest of mental abilities. And healing allies for 1d6 per character level. We got Shard Storm. Summons a cloud of acidic poisonous shards that randomly strikes enemies within 15 meters. Six strikes over six seconds. Each shard deals 1d4 plus 2 poison and 1d4 plus 2 acid damage per character level. And finally, we have Thunder Snow. Ooh, I love Thunder Snow. Um, Sends forth a wide wave of freezing hail before you with a narrow blast of lightning at its center. Directly in front of the caster, the hail deals 1d6 plus 4 cold damage per character level. Fort save for half. 20 plus evocation bonus plus highest of mental abilities. 
the bolt of lightning strikes for 1d6 plus 4 electric damage per character level reflex save for half. Um, but most of those are pretty nice. Let's see, what do we got here? Improved form. Well, in any elemental form, you gain plus 3, 6, 10 universal spell power. While in any wild shape, you gain plus 2, 4, 6 magical resistance rating. Keep checking the chat. Uh, shared mantle. Your summons now also benefit from your primal avatar destiny mantle. Which I'm not sure what that is exactly. This still uses your spell power or melee range power to scale. I don't know. All right. Magic of the old world plus one, two, three DCs for evocation, conjuration, and transmutation. At its core, upgrade primal spell. We've got sky, doubles the damage of thunder snow. I should swap the, the order of these to put them in the same order. Um, also applies the snow slow effect of Stormcatcher, um, slowing movement, and reducing all targets reflex save by half your character level for the duration of the slow. We've got Heart doubles the damage of Reborn and Fire, and the ability now grants 25% uncapped dodge for 4 seconds on use. And then Thorn doubles the damage of shard storm and you gain shard reflection for 12 seconds which gains 25 percent of your maximum hit points as temporary hit points okay we got a little turtle shell over here natural shielding you gain 10 maximum hit points two magical resistance rating your summons pets and hirelings gain a 60 percent bonus to maximum hit points 30 magical resistance rating and four Reflex saving throws and gain evasion feat. Epic improved meta magic. Uh, reduces the cost of empower by two. Reduces the cost of maximize by three. Reduces the cost of quicken by one. Hmm. So two of the same thing. And two, three, one. So apparently they're identical. All right, we've got nature's blessing. When you cast the spirit of nature, when, when you rest, the spirit of a nature manifests as a unicorn and provides with nature's blessing to you and nearby party members. Nature's blessing plus five insight bonus to max hit points. This effect, effect lasts until you leave the dungeon. Hmm. Intensity plus five, 10, 15 universal spell power. Didn't mean to click. Uh, natural evasion, gain the evasion feat exclusive from other enhancements that grant this feat. Wait, so you can have double evasion? So you got to roll t for evasion. You get to roll for evasion twice instead of once. Hmm, interesting. Grant the ability to summon an elemental ally based on your nature. We got heart gives you your heart flame dryad that casts fire, light, and healing spells using your casting stats. She remains rooted to her summoning point. So she doesn't chase you around no more? Hmm. Sky creates a greater storm spirit to blast your foes with lightning cold and sound using your casting stats, remains bound to their summoning spot. And thorns creates a greater thorn spirit to blast your foes with acid, poison, and force using your casting stats, remains bound to their summoning spot. Okay. Uh, natural evasion. Gain the evasion feat. I already looked at that one, didn't I? All right, so we're up to here. Ancient wisdom. Plus one, two, three to all spell DCs. Mass frog. 
Up to six nearby enemies turned into frogs. Each may avoid riveting on a successful fortitude saving throw versus DC of 20 plus highest of int, wiz, charisma modifier, and transmutation bonuses. We've got greater form. Heart of Flame. Become like a summer fire for 20 seconds and grain. 25% action boost to speed. Become ethereal to monsters for movement. 60%, 25%. Do what? Oh, for movement, 65, 60%. 25% uncapped bonus to dodge. 100% absorption against fire and light damage. Deals 1d6 fire damage per character level to enemies close to you and heals allies for 1d6 positive every 2 seconds. So they get 10, 10 ticks of 1d6. Sky's Rage. Sky, Sky Rager, okay. Uh, gain enhanced spell cost reduction of 10% to all spells. I mean, that could be decent. If you got something that costs 100 spell points, it's now 90. And Thorn's Bite. Gain enhancement to spell cost reduction of 10% to all spells. So it's the same. So the only one different is Heart of Flame. Sky and Thorn are the same. All right. And then finally, we've got Epic Improve Intensify Spell. Reduces the cost of Intensify Spell Meta Magic by two, four, six spell points. Hmm, not bad. All right, so let's take a look at three more trees. We got Sharadi. We got Grandmaster, and we've got Shadow Dancer. Let's take a look at these. Fey Favor. Grain, you gain the magical training feat. Each core ability, including this one, grants plus 8 range power, plus 50 spell points, and plus 4 force and universal spell power. In addition, this one grants plus 8 range power, plus 50 spell points, and plus 5 force and universal spell power. In addition, this one grants you a plus one epic bonus to spell DCs. Only the highest epic bonus to spell DCs you get from Destiny Core Supplies. No, oh, so I got 36. Wait a minute. Destiny. Wait a minute. Destiny points spent, zero of 38. Fate points, 36. Permanent Destiny points, 12. Those numbers don't add up. Should it be 48? That's weird. Those numbers don't add up. I don't understand that. All right, next thing here in Shirati. Your attacks have Ghost Touch, and you bypass 5% dodge and fortification. If you have the Holy Strike feet, double the dodge and fort bypass. Okay. Audience with the Queen. Get some tea. When you rest at the shrine, you pop off with some tea and randomly get a beneficial effect based on the type of tea you receive. These effects last for 10 minutes. Your epic bonus to spell DCs increases to plus 3. Hmm. I'll have to play with that. Uh, there's, these effects last for 10 minutes, but I don't see a cooldown. So if you don't like the effect, you could just recast it. That would be nice. Shirati Destiny Mantle. Ah. Your ranged and thrown attacks have a 7% chance to deal 1d100 extra damage of a random type. This damage scales with 200% range power. Your offensive spells have a 14% chance to deal 1d100 extra damage of a random type. This damage spells 100% of the type spell power. Wild Magics, plus 3, 60, 100 maximum spell points, rank 3, plus 4, plus 5, force, and universal spell power. Plus 1, good luck, plus 1, 2, 3, luck bonus to all saving throws and skills. If you have the luck of heroes feet, double this bonus. Shirati Strike, pick ranged or cast it or epic strike. All right, so Fey Lights. Epic Strike SLA. Enemies in a cone must make a save. 20 plus highest 
mental power plus illusion bonuses versus will fort and reflex for a daze blind and silence effect cooldown six seconds crowd control duration three seconds cost 10 sp epic strike your next shot with a ranged or thrown weapon has 75 percent damage plus 75 percent the shot has plus 16 to critical threat range eight second cooldown okay um, good luck. Try to okay, here we are. Face sight plus two, four, six. Listen, so search, and spot. Rank three, you are immune to blindness. Empathetic link plus one, two, three charges of wild empathy. Healing spring. Mass vigor plus. Costs one wild empathy charge, casts vigor on multiple targets, a positive energy conjuration that heals 1d6 plus 1, 1d6 plus 1 per three character levels. I don't know why there's that comma, comma there. Is it plus 1 per three character levels and 1d6 or 1d6 plus 1 per three character levels? I don't understand. Uh, max plus 11 at 33. Okay, so it only it only applies the plus one per character levels. Other than that, it's 1d6 flat out. Every two seconds for eight seconds, when the initial effect expires, a smaller healing effect that heals one hit point every five seconds for 30 seconds is applied. Uh, NN, which is probably supposed to be two line breaks, backslash ends. Only one vigor spell can be affected active at any at a time. With the most beneficial taking priority, if multi vigor spells are cast on the same target, when the then the duration is expend, extended. Passive plus one wild empathy charge. All right, we've got pick a ranged attack or charm spell for Sharati power. Beguiling charm. Target must make a will save versus twenty plus highest of mental ability plus enchantment bonus, or be charmed. Hmm, I hope you give release charm to people as well, because that's always super annoying when people have charm things and can't release them. You have to wait for it to time out. Uh, pin, range attack, plus three weapon. If a moving enemy is hit, they are slowed for 12 seconds, 15 second cooldown, okay. Uh, that was this one. Healing Spring. Nope, that's not the one. We were up here. Faith Force, okay. Improve Sharati Power. Upgrade Pin or Beguiling Charm. We got enemies charmed by your Beguiling Charm. Deal double damage with attacks and spell while under the effects of Beguile. And Otto's Whistlery. If enemies hit by pin are not moving, they must make a reflex save. 20 plus highest ability score plus spot bonus or be immobilized for 18 seconds. If enemies hit by pin are moving, they must make a will save. 20 plus highest ability score plus listen bonus or dance for 18 seconds. Man, I'm getting hungry. You gain Pierce Deception. You gain the Watchful Eye feat. If you pass within five feet of a trap, you make a search check to notice it as if actively searching. You still need the trap finding feat to successfully search for difficult traps. If you have the Watchful Eye feat, plus five, double shot. Double Rainbow. While in your prison, Destiny Mantle, you're ranged. And thrown attacks and offensive spells have a 7% chance to inflict a random effect on your target. These effects scale with various different things depending on their origins, including newly ranged and spell power. While in your prison, faith form, while in your prism, destiny mantle, gain DR10, cold iron, and plus five force and universal spell power. Track. Dealing damage to enemies reduces their AC by one and fortification by 2%. Stacks 10 times. You gain the favorite enemy feet. You gain the favorite enemy fey feet. Be cool if track. If you hit them with that, right? If you actually saw a little red dot on the mini map that you could 
actually track them, see where they run off to. I'm sure that's way above what we'll ever see, but that would be really cool. Uh, 10%, 20%, 30% attack speed with thrown weapons with whirling wrists. Wrists. I can't speak today. Epic moment. Let's see here. We got two. We've got inexorable advance. Epic moment. For 30 seconds, you gain plus 30 range power. You can move while still gaining archer's focus stacks. And you do not take the normal 20% damage penalty while using improved precise shot. You also gain 30% action bonus to movement speed for the duration. And the other one is Mass Chaos. Epic Moment. Enemies in, our, in an area are confused with no save for 30 seconds. Gain one stack of Fey Chaos and apply a stack of Fey Chaos on hitting non-player, non-hireling targets while confused. Fey Chaos. This creature takes 5% more damage from all sources for 10 seconds. This effect can stack up to 10 times, and all stacks expire after not gaining new ones for 10 seconds. Alright, Fey Wild Attunement. Every four Wilderness Lore feats grant you plus 1% dodge. You are always considered to be in point-blank shot range. While wielding longbows and short bows, you have a base attack bonus equal to your character level, plus 10 force and universal spell power. Range weapons gain plus 1 critical damage multiplier and rolls of 10, 19 to 20. Control, plus 1, 2, 3 to all spell DCs. And stay 2, upgrade stay good or stay frosty. Oh, I, I guess I missed that one. Missed that one too. 2, 4, 6, double shot. Stay. Stay frosty. Stay good. Stay frozen. I love freezing things. Paralyze. That's not bad either. All right, let's move on to Grandmaster of Flowers. We've got Inner Focus. You gain proficiency with hand wraps. You also gain plus 10 maximum key per epic level if you have at least one level of monk or are or are in the Grandmaster of Flowers Destiny Mantle. Each core ability in this tree, including this one, grants the following. Plus 10 melee power, plus 8 range power, and plus 15 maximum hit points. Dis Disciple of Material. Um, we got Adamantine, Baishik, Cold Iron, Crystal and Silver. Your weapons now bypass type damage reduction. You gain plus 5 physical resistance training or plus 10 if you have the dis discipline feat. And the last core, select an alignment. You got Chaos, Evil, Good, and Lawful. Your weapons now bypass um, alignment damage reduction. For your specific alignment, you get plus 5 MRR or plus 10 if you have the discipline feat. All right, we've got Strike with Poise, plus 2, 4, 6 stunning DCs. Disciple Studies, plus 1, 2, 3. Heal, Diplomacy, and Intimidate, rank 3, plus 10 positive, negative, and repair amplification. Serenity, Grand Master of Flowers, Destiny Mantle. You may now fight with the unarmed combat style as if you are a monk and may be centered and use key when you attack with hand wraps or begin falling. You will use the monk's class, the monk class's animations instead of your own. You gain 15% action boost to your movement speed and no longer take damage from falling. Finally, you are unbothered by the physical restraints of the world. You may tumble through enemies and are immune to slippery surfaces and most forms of knockdown. You also gain 
10 key for training this enhancement. Wholeness of Spirit, cooldown 3 to 1 and a half minutes. Uh, you may expend 50 key to bring your mind, body, and soul into harmonious balance, restoring health as if you are affected by the benefits of a heal spell as well as curing all ability damage, negative levels, and other adverse conditions that may be affecting you. Enlightenment, plus 15, 30, 45 maximum key, plus 2, 4, 6 concentration, rank 3, plus 1 passive key regeneration. Chet's being awful quiet today. All right. Hail of Blows, plus 5 offhand strike chance, plus 10% 10, 10 strike through, plus 3 double shot and double strike. Uh, Lotus Blades, select a feat to gain access to without meeting its prerequisites. You can gain Lotus Blades Deflection, gain Deflect Arrows. Lotus Blades Longbow, you gain Zen Archery. You gain the effects of Whirling uh, Longsword, Whirling Steel, Strike Feet, and may use Longswords as if they were key weapons. And Sickle, you gain the effects of Prescient Curve Feet, and may use Sickles as if they were key weapons. Excuse me. Then we got a Dance of Flowers. While well, in the Grandmaster of Flowers Destiny Mantle, your weapons deal plus one weapon. Grandmaster Strikes, select an epic strike. We've got Drifting Lotus, Melee Cleave Attacks, plus three weapon, plus one critical threat, and Multiplier deals 1d6 plus five force damage per character level to all enemies struck. The force damage scales with the higher of melee or range power and is doubled versus tainted creatures, undead, aberrations, and evil outsiders. Key projection. Channel pure key into yourself and then project it forward with your attacks. For eight seconds, your basic attacks are replaced by pure key projections that deal 1d6 plus 6 force damage per character level. The force damage scales with a higher of melee or range power and is doubled versus tainted creatures. The duration of this ability is increased by two seconds per monk forms feet you have. Max 16 seconds with Grandmaster of Forms. Orchard Blossom. Epic Strike. A blossom is released from your palm in a line, exploding when it makes contact, dealing. 1d6 plus 5 force damage per character level to all enemies within. The force damage scales with the higher of melee or ranged power and is doubled versus tainted creatures. Grants 5 key when used. Okay. We've got plus uh, calm before storms plus 3, 6, 10 spell resistance. Rank 3, you no longer automatically fail will saving throws when you roll a natural 1. All right, um, the flickering flame plus one, two, three to hit and damage, rank three plus 25% fire absorption. Flow of water plus one to all saving throws, uh, one, two, three. You take five, 10, 15% less damage while helpless, rank three plus 25 cold absorption.
Um, Serene Mercy. Well, in the Grand Master of Flowers Destiny Mental, you, grant, you deal plus 5, 10, 15% bonus damage to the helpless. Catch the Wind, plus 1, 2, 3 dodge chance, and plus 2, 4, 6 max dex bonus with all armor. Rank 3, plus 25 electric absorption. Strength of Stone, plus 5, 10, 15 maximum hit points, plus 2, 4, 6 physical resistance rating, rank 3, plus 25 acid absorption. Be right back in just a second. Oh, bring that back up. All right, there we go. I had to respond to an email trying to get records for my cat. All right, the Cruelty of Evil. Plus one, two, three sneak attack and sneak attack damage. Rank three, 15% evil absorption. The Delight of Chaos, plus one, two, three critical hit confirmation and critical hit damage. Rank three, 15% chaos absorption. Epic Strike Upgrades. Blossoming Peace. Orchard Blossom now attempts to stun all enemies struck. D stun DC 20 plus highest ability score modifier and stunning bonuses. The stun lasts two seconds. Elemental Projection. Key projection now also deals bonus elemental damage that matches the monk's stance you are in. If none, this has no effect. Hmm, I don't know, I like that. Uh, this elemental power deals 1d6 plus 6 damage per character level of the corresponding element, scaling with the higher of melee or range power, and also leaves a lingering debuff that corresponds to the chosen element. Fire, each strike with key projection burns away 2% armor class, stacking up to 5 times. Water, each strike with key projection washes away 3 MRR. Uh, air, dazes enemy struck, lasts for 2 seconds and has no save, and is broken by any subsequent damage. Earth, corrodes 3 PRR, stacking up to 5 times. Alright, and the last one, Lotus Bloom. Drifting Lotus now attempts to stun all enemies struck plus 0.5 second per monk forms feet you have. Okay, that was the middle one up there. We got Serenity of Good. Plus one, two, three, saves versus enchantments, curses, and illusions. And plus two, four, six, magical resistance rating, rank three, 15% good absorption. And the Clarity of Law, your attacks bypass 5, 10, 15% of enemy fortification, rank 3, 15% law absorption. Last tier, Beyond the Center, plus 5, 10, 15 magical resistance rating cap, rank 3, plus 15% force absorption. Imposing Force, while centered when rolling a 19 or 20 on attack, your critical multiplier is increased by 1. Uh, scattering of petals, epic moment, you and nearby allies are covered by a swirling cow, um, cloud of petals for 20 seconds, granting you the effects of petal storm and debuffing your enemies with disorienting petals. This storm moves with you and all enemies and allies that enter or leave its effects will gain or lose its buffs or debuffs. Petal Storm buff, you have full base attack bonus and deal 10% more weapon damage and gain plus 10 PRR and armor class. Disorienting Petals debuff. 
Enemies with this debuff become vulnerable to sneak attacks and lose 100% fortification. Okay. Elude the Veil. You gain the effects of elusive target feet. And if you already have it, it instead doubles a chance to proc. Plus 3% dodge, plus 1% dodge cap. And then the last one in Grandmaster of Flowers. Oh, can't even see it. What's going on? Is it lagging? Yeah, it looks like lag. All right, let's sip in the dojo, bring it back up. Maybe it'll be less laggy in here. Control E. All right, the last one here. Ah, there we go. Legendary Furrier Blows, plus one, two, three percent double strike and double shot, plus three, six, ten percent strike through, plus three, six, ten percent offhand strike chance, rank three, while dual wielding, including hand wraps, or using a quarter staff, you gain on Vorpal, knock down an enemy for two seconds, knock down enemies are helpless. Okay. Somebody was asking about the junction available to access through the chaining dojo. There we go. I was hitting the wrong button. Hey, it's Foley. Cut him up. Cut him up. <laughs> Let me need a preview guy. Um, okay. Epic trainer. So, yes, you can definitely access it from the dojo. Next to the guy at the fate spinner between the guy, the guide and Fred. All right, let's bring this back up. And we're on Shadow Dancer. Let's take a look here. The Darkest Lock. You gain the Trap Finding feat if you did not have it already. Each core ability... Good. Each core ability in this tree, including this one, grants the following. Plus one epic bonus to all spell DCs. Plus ten melee power, plus eight range power, plus... Um, backslash plus one sneak attack dice. Plus five force and universal spell power. I'm guessing that backslash is an oopsie. The darkest luck. Dimension door. Darkest luck. Core three. You gain the evasion feat. Normal evasion rules apply. If you already have evasion, you gain improved evasion. If you already have improved evasion, you no longer fail reflex saves automatically by rolling a one. I need a drink. My throat is killing me. I've already read through five trees. All right. Stealthy. Plus one reflex saving throw. No, plus one, two, three. Plus two, four, six. Hide and move silently. Rank three. You gain the hide in plain sight feat. I don't know why it cuts the bottom off like that. That's weird. I'll have to deal with that later. All right. So cover of darkness. Plus 10, 20. 30% less threat from all sources. Rank 3. You gain the benefits of the Night sh Shield spell. That's good. 30, 60, 100 spell points. Plus 1, 2, 3 DCs with Fear Spells. Rank 3. Plus 10% Force Absorption. Assassinate. Plus 2, 4, 6 Assassinate DC. Technician. Plus 2, 4, 6 Search, spot, disable, and open lock. 
Rank 3, if you have nimble fingers feet, you gain plus 1 sneak attack dice. Life. Lith. Mm. Plus 2, 4, 6, reflex saving throws. Armor class and light armor max dex bonus. Rank 3, plus 5, force and universal spell power. Epic strike. Alright, we've got... Hey, see a bunch of people have joined. All right, Dark Imbuement imbues your weapons and spell casts with medieval energies. Melee range, you deal 1d2 per sneak attack dice in untyped damage on hit, scaling with melee or range power, or four spell power if it is higher. And on a Vorpal Strike, your attacks beat blind enemies with no save. This blind lasts for five seconds and can only apply to each monster once per 60 seconds. Spell casting, your sneak attack dice are now applied to your harmful spell casts. Your spells deal 1d2 untyped damage per sneak attack dice you have, scaling with melee, ranged, or four spell power. This may only trigger once per spell cast per monster, so multi-hit spells will only have one additional damage value. And then we got Meld into Darkness. You gain 10% uncapped dodge for six seconds. Shadow Weaponry. Um... One of three, so I'm guessing this is more tiers. Um, I, we only see one. It says plus five percent offhand strike chance. I'm guessing it's five, ten, fifteen. There may be a rank three bonus. Um, again, one of three. So your maximized meta magic costs three. Fewer spells, spell points. I don't know what the, the, the level up for that would be. Three, five, seven, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Sleight of hand. Plus two, four, six, use magic device. Plus 25, 50, 75 damage and healing of your wands, scrolls, and other items that cast spells. Tier three adds plus. Oh, nope. Adds plus one, two, three to the save DCs of your offensive wands. That's for all tiers. There's no rank three specific on that one. All right, Grim Precision. You bypass 5, 10, 15% of enemy fortification and 1, 2, 3% enemy dodge. Shadowcaster. Minus 10% spell cooldowns, plus five force and universal spell power. That's nice. Always nice to take some cooldown time off. Your Shadow Dancer Destiny Mantle grants plus one, two, three sneak attack dice and plus one, two, three spell pen. Shadow Dancer spell focus. We've got plus one illusion, plus one necromancy, plus one abjuration, or plus one enchant. Dark Speed, we've got plus 2% double strike a double shot, or your quick and meta magic costs one fewer spell points. We got Epic Strike Upgrade, your Dark Illusion, your Dark Imbuement Epic Strike now increases your melee range and reduces the cost of all your meta magics by one each. Your Meld into Darkness Epic Strike now gains grants 15% uncapped dodge. When enemies miss you in combat while Meld is active, they are blinded by shadows with no save. This blind lasts 5 seconds and can only apply to each monster once per 60 seconds. The Drop. When you roll a natural 20 on a melee or ranged attack, you envelop the target in shadow, removing its immunity to sneak attack for a short duration, if applicable. You have the feat First Blood, with both this effect and the trigger of First Blood now also applies a shadow strike debuff, 
and the first blood now triggers on harmful spell casts. Shadow Strike debuff, minus three. Spell resistance, PRR, MRR per stack, last 12 seconds, stacks drop one at a time, max three stacks. Dark Mercy, your Shadow Dancer Destiny Mantle, now grants plus five, 10, 15% damage versus the Helpless. Dark Armor, plus two, four, six, PRR and MRR, plus three, six, ten, Force and Universal Spell Power, rank three, you gain immunity to energy drain. Pierce the Gloom, plus one, two, three, to hit, to hit for sneak attacks, and to hit while flanking. Rank three, immunity to silence, quell, and blindness. Ooh. Immunity to Quell. I like that. Greater Shadow Form. Adds to your Shadow Dancer Destiny Mantle. Cloak yourself in magic and assume the form of an illusionary shadow. This form grants you 25% in corporeality, plus 20 hide and move silently, and allows you to float as if you had Featherfall. You no longer treasure pressure plates or bear traps. You also are not automatically detected by monsters with tremor sense, all hearing, but remain detectable by monsters who see through stealth. Just a taste. You have plus one critical multiplier on a roll of 1920 with bows, thrown weapons, crossbows, and finessable melee weapons. Weird. Are you weird? The weird spell is added to your spell book as a level 9 spell if you are a cleric, sorcerer, druid, wizard, or favored soul, or a level 6 spell if you are an artificer, alchemist, bard, or warlock, requires the ability to cast spells of those levels. Weird. A targeted foe and all nearby enemies are subject to a PK effect with a DC 20 plus highest of mental ability modifier illusion spell bonuses to prevent the death. Greater Shadow Dancer Spell Focus, plus one, two, three spell DCs. And finally, Shadow Mastery, Epic Moment, dissolve into a whirl of shadow. A whirl? I don't know what a whirl is. Maybe it's a whirl. Leaving your corporal form behind, while in this form you are considered sneaking and invisible regardless of what you do. You also gain 3d6 sneak attack die. 50% incorporeality, as well as the effects of dark imbuement and meld into darkness, as if they have been fully trained and upgraded. When non-boss enemies miss you in this state, they are slain by their fear, automatically taking a PK effect with no save. Alright, let's do the next three. Magnus of the Eclipse. Hmm, that only has one. Acute Senses. Plus two, four, six, fortitude, reflex, and will saving throws versus traps. Nothing else is in that tree. All right, draconic, and I don't remember which ones I've done. Exalted, yeah. Okay, we'll do exalted. Um, acute, it's got acute senses as well. I don't think those ones are finished. So let's move on here. Uh, Fury of the Wild. And I don't know if I did Dreadnought. Uh, I don't remember. Ah, I did not. Okay. So you have Fury of the Wild. We'll do these three. These are our last three, I guess. The other ones aren't ready yet, or whatever. Die Hard. Oh, maybe we already did this one. Nope. Plus, uh, so we got Tier 1, Core. You gain Die Hard, plus 20 hit points, and plus 10 melee power. Tier 2, plus 100 unconsciousness range. 20 hit points and 10 melee power. Die Hard Arrest. 
plus 150 unconscious range, 20 hit points, and 10 melee power. I see a Tobril. Hello, Tobril. You can come join us in the DDO Wiki Lamania chat on Discord if you want. Um, acute senses. Well, we already looked at that one. Um, plus two, four, six, fortitude, reflex, and will saving throws versus traps. Tier three, your dodge is increased by one percent. Epic strike. We've got adrenaline. Deals plus twenty-five damage and increases your critical threat by sixteen. Requires re requires a melee weapon to use. Uh, quick cutter. Epic strike. Melee attack. When you use this attack, you gain the effect quick. If you use this skill again while quick is still active, you instead apply cutter to your current target. Quick plus two percent dodge duration nine seconds. Cutter. 2d6 bane damage per character level every two seconds stacks three times scales with 200% melee power duration 24 seconds savage takedown action point cost one we got um plus one two three to trip dcs tier three while wearing medium or light armor plus three additional bonuses to trip dcs mental of fury Fury of the Wild, Destiny Mantle. You deal plus 5, 10, 15% damage against helpless targets. You also gain... Ooh. So tier 1 says gain 2d10. And then tiers 2 and 3 say take 4d10 and 6d10. Hmm. I don't know which makes more sense. I guess you gain 2d10. 2, 4, 6, D, 10, positive energy healing every 15 seconds. This healing scales with the highest of 100% positive spell power or 200% melee power. Enduring, plus 2, 4, 6, PRR. Gird against demons, weapons you bypass, weapons you wield bypass cold damage reduction. Primal Scream. Epic and nearby enemies take 1d20 sonic damage per character level. It doesn't look like that one has changed. I am always angry. You gain the Barbarian Rage feat. Adds plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 uses of rage per dress. Fear my vengeance. Against shaken and feared enemies, you gain plus 1, 2, 3 to hit and damage. Fast and Furious, melee charge attack, plus one, two, three, weapon. Um, tier one requires melee weapon. Tier two and three is plus one, two, critical multiplier. Tier three also gives you on use if you are raging. The cooldown on this ability is reset, allowing you to use it a second time immediately. This may only trigger once every 10 seconds. Sense weakness, plus two, four, six percent fortification bypass. Your Fury of the Wild Destiny Mantle grants you an additional five, ten, fifteen percent extra damage to helpless targets. Wild weapons. Double strike. Plus one percent double strike. Offhand attack, plus three percent to offhand strike chance. Wild Weapon Strike Through, plus 5% Strike Through Chance. Eternal Rage. If you are not currently raging and are currently out of rage charges, you have a 1, 2, 3% chance to gain a charge of rage whenever you strike a foe. Fury Selector. Furious. 
says one of three, so I'm guessing it's a three tier, and I don't know what the other two tiers are. Plus one strength while raging. Adrenaline damage bonus is increased by 25%. And Spirit of the Beast plus two attack bonus. So I'm guessing it's like two, four, six, maybe. At rank three, the effects of the Ram's Might and Animal Growth spells are doubled for you. Embrace the pain. When you drop below 15, 25, 40% hit points, you immediately heal 2 D10 positive energy healing and continue to do so every 6 seconds until you are over 15, 25, 40% hit points. This healing scales with the highest of 100% positive spell power or 200% melee power. Unquenchable Rage. Reduce all damage except untyped by 8, 12, 15% for 5 seconds after you consume a Rage Charge or use Primal Scream. Tier 3, you also apply the effects of a Heal spell to yourself, scaling by melee power. Uh, overwhelming Force now grants an additional 25% damage to attack at rank 3, so it's probably 25, 50, 75. At rank 3, Struck Froze by your Adrenaline attacks are knocked down for 4 seconds. And Primal Force plus 1, probably 1, 2, 3 attack bonus and 2, 4, 6 Fortification Bypass. Those are my guesses, because we can only see one tier at rank 3. While two weapon fighting or in animal form gain 2% damage with all attacks. Wade through. We got wade through double strike, 2% double strike. Offhand attack, 3% offhand attack. I think this is a duplicate, isn't it? Or did I already look at this one? It's possible. 10% strike through. I think it's a duplicate. Because that strike through is was 5% on the other one. I thought. Mm. All right, let's take a look at this one. The Voice of the Furry doubles the damage and stat bonuses of your Primal Screen. If Adrenaline or Quick is active when you use Primal Screen, the damage is tripled instead, and nearby enemies have 75% chance of becoming confused for three seconds. No save. Adrenaline Quick are consumed. Top Dog. You, you gain the improved trip feat. Lore of the Wilds. Every two wilderness lore feat now grants plus 1% primal bonus to maximum hit points. Guard by Chaos. Gain 50 hit points and 10 PRR rating. Uh, double these bonuses if you have the Harbinger of Chaos feat. Um, we've got 10 minutes left, so we're going to rush through these a little bit. I said I'd be off by 4 for the next streamer. Uh, Unbridled Fury, for the next 30 seconds you gain plus 1,000 Unconsciousness rage Range. You heal for 10% of your max hit points every 10, 5 seconds, and your strength, dex, and con are increased by half of the base values. Nature's Fury, while well, 2 weapon fighting... Two-handed fighting, or while in animal form, you gain plus one bonus to your critical multiplier on rolls of 19 or 20. And the Great Leveler, melee attack plus three, four, six weapon, plus four, eight, 16 critical threat range. You stop in place to create a shockwave that blasts all enemies in a short line. The size of the line triples. If adrenaline or quick is active, consuming those effects applies a trip to all enemies struck. DC of 20 plus highest of physical abilities plus trip DC. All right, Draconic Incarnation. Select a bloodline. We got black for uh, D plus one spell DCs, plus 50 spell points, plus five spell power. Associated with your chosen element, plus five universal. We got blue. Um, is the same except for electric. We've got green for poison. We've got red for fire. 
We've got shadow for negative, and we've got white for cold. All right, we've got Draconic Heritage, minus 5% spell co point cost on all spells. Your spells no longer need material components, as if you had a shoe materials. That will be awesome. So much savings of time. Elemental Blood, minus 5% spell cost with all spells. Casting spells that align with your Draconic Bloodline now trigger a 15% chance to grant yourself plus 10 temporary hit points per character level that lasts for 10 seconds. This can only trigger once every 10 seconds. Draconic Perception, plus 246 spot search and reflex saving throws. Dragon Hide, plus 246 armor class and fortitude saving throws. Rank three, you no longer fail fortitude saves automatically by rolling a natural one. Attune the Arcane. Draconic Destiny Mantle, Spells of the Chosen Element of your Draconic Heritage have 25% chance to deal 1d6 plus 6 bonus damage per caster level of that type. Uh, Dragon Scales, plus 1, 2, 3, Physical and Magic Resistance Rating. Arcane Studies, plus 2, 4, 6, Concentration and Spellcraft, plus 1, 2, 3, UMD, Rank 3, plus 5, Spell Power of your Draconic Heritage, and plus 5, Universal Spell Power. Conduit doubles the implement bonus of quarter stabs you wield. Speed of magics plus 10, 20, 30% enhancement bonus to movement speed. Rank 3, you gain mobile spell casting. Dragon Breath. Um, conjure forth. Uh, thing of element to whatever your enemies deals. 1d6 plus 10 acid. Um... Electric, Poison, Fire, Negative, or Cold, depending on your heritage. Of course, Oop, hit the wrong button. Uh, Draconic Rage, you may now cast spells while raging. Oh, yes, that would be good. Uh, Draconic Presence, plus one, two, three. Breath Weapon DCs, Rank 3, Immunity to Fear, plus 1, 2, 3, Spell Pen, uh, Daunting Roar, Breath Weapons, including your Dragon Breath Epic Strike, have a 25% chance to paralyze enemies caught within them with fear for 6 seconds with no save. This can only affect each monster once. Once they have been feared successfully successive, hey, attempts will fail. Enemies that are immune to fear are immune to this effect. Scales of the Dragon, activate this to shroud yourself in the scales of a dragon temporarily. This has two components. Firstly, it absorbs 15% of damage per character level and abil ablative protection. Secondly, it shields you from 50% of the elemental damage of your dragon type. The elemental damage shield will persist even if the ablative protection is depleted. Arcane Spell Sword. We've got plus one dice with Arcane Archer's Elemental or Force Arrows. Plus one dice with Eldritch Knight's Spell Sword Torgal. And plus one dice with Vile Alchemist Poisoned Coating to Toggle. Um, I think it was this one. Yes. Okay. Draconic Spell Focus. Plus one Conjuration, Evocation, Necromancy or transmutation spells. Improved, epic improved meta magic. I'm assuming it's the same. Um, two fewer improved in power, three fewer improved maximize, or one fewer improved quicken. Energy Vortex, while your Draconic Destiny Mantle is on, casting Dragon Breath causes elemental energy to swirl around you, dealing 1d6 damage per caster level of your Draconic Heritage every 3 seconds. Uh, conjure your Draconic Elements who curse a single enemy with damage over time, deal 1d6 plus 3 damage per character level every 3 seconds for 12 seconds, can stack 5 times for Elemental Inevitability Fire. Uh, Coalescence, you bypass the first 5, 10, 15, First 5-10 points 
of damage reduction with your spells. Rank three, plus 10 spell po power of your Draconic Heritage element and plus 10 universal spell power. Um, Wellspring of Powers duration is doubled. When you activate it, you gain 10 temporary spell hit points per character level. That lasts a full double duration. Hellstorm, your uh, plus 15 spell power of your element, plus 15 universal spell power. Hellball is added to your spell book at level 8, assuming you can cast level 8 spells. Ruined intensified. Your ruin and greater ruin now apply a secondary burst of damage based on your draconic bloodline. The scales with the appropriate spell power. Dragon form. Activate this ability to take on the aspect of your draconic bloodline. This intensifies over the course of 30 seconds with successive tiers adding to previous ones. Initial activation, you become immune to elemental damage of your Draconic Bloodline for the duration. Five seconds, you gain DR 100 dash, and your hit points begin to regenerate at a fast rate for the duration. 10 seconds, your spells gain 50% cost reduction for the duration. 15 seconds, your Dragon's Breath, Epic Strike, and Energy Vortex now deal double damage for the duration. 20 seconds, a pulse of energy Damage erupts from you, knocking down enemies in a large area for two seconds with no save and dealing 1d6 plus 6 elemental damage per character level. And then you've got just 10 seconds left of the other stuff. Spread your wings. Draconic wings sprout from you and propel you forward. So it's like a abundant, abundant step or favorite soul wings. Um, enhanced Draconic spell focus plus 1, 2, 3 spell DCs. Now we're on to Legendary Dreadnoughts, the last one. I'm going to run a little bit over, I guess. Fearless. Each core ability in Legendary Dreadnought, including this one, grants 15 maximum hit points, 10 melee power, and 6 range power. You are immune to fear. Um, plus 2 attack and damage with all weapons. Thick skinned. Plus 15 physical resistance rating. Uh, activating, uh, push through the line. Activating an action boost grants plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 to all ability scores for the duration of that action boost. Epic Tactics, plus 1, 2, 3 to, track, to Tactics DCs. Dire Attack. Dire Charge, Melee Attack, Rush Forward at the targeted foe. That foe and all nearby enemies are subject to a plus 2 weapon damage and must make a Fortitude save or be Sunder. D Sunder DC is 20, highest ability score, bonus is stun. Or Dire Shot, at ranged attacks, fire an arrow at target foe on hit, plus 2 weapon damage and must save or be Sundered. Same as the other one. Dread Mantle, Legendary Dreadnought Destiny Mantle every three seconds. While this mantle is active, nearby enemies gain a stack of terror. Terror, minus one melee and range power, minus three spell power, minus one AC, stacks up to 15 times. Shrug off punishment, plus 10, 20, 30 maximum hit points. Life and death, plus three, six, 10 positive and negative healing amplification. Uh, Combat Brute, while in your Dread Mantle, your weapons gain plus weapon, plus one weapon, and any action boost is active. Uh, honor or backstab. Backstab plus two to attack while flanking. If you have tactician feet, double this bonus. Honor plus one to attack. If you have tactician feet, double this bonus. Epic power attack. Power attack grants, grants plus one, two, three extra damage while active. E extra action boost plus one, two, three additional action boost per rest. Action boost tactics, activate to gain plus two, four, six action bonus boost to tactical DCs for 20 seconds. Strike twice, plus two, four, six, double strike and double shot. Critical damage, plus two, four, six, critical damage, critical hit damage. Dread, while in your Dreadnought Destiny Mental, you gain plus 15 PRR and also harm nearby enemies, dealing 1d6 bane damage per stack of terror the enemy has every three seconds. Armor of Dusk, plus two, four, six armor class and max dex bonus, minus one, two, three armor check penalty to skills. Uh, untouchable, while any action boost is active, you have displacement. Kick while they're down. Uh, while in your Dreadnought Destiny Mantle, you deal plus five, 10, 15 percent damage to helpless opponents. Strike with fear, your weapon attacks against creatures that are afraid, shaken, or. Five plus stacks of terror, add one stack of vulnerability. 
momentum swing when you use your dire charge or dire shot. Enemies must now also make a fortitude save or be tripped. Trip DC is 20 plus highest ability score modifier plus bonuses to stun. Carry on. When you activate any action boost, you gain a 10% action boost bonus to attack speed for 10 seconds. Final tier, overpower. We've got Selector with three. We got Impaler. When using Piercing Weapon in your main hand, you gain plus one critical multiplier on rolls of 1920. Lacerator. When using a slashing weapon in your main hand, you gain plus one critical multiplier on rolls of 1920. And Pulverizer. When using a bludgeon weapon, you gain uh, Legendary Rally. Rally. Um, we got Melee Attack. Lash Out. With your force of will plus five weapon cleave attack, attack is considered an automatic critical and has plus two critical multiplier, can be used while crowd controlled and clears all crowd control effects on you when used. And legendary rally ranged attack, lash out with your force of will plus five weapon attack, attack is considered an automatic critical, etc. If used while crowd controlled, it will fire an arrow at your hard targeted foe. So you got to make sure you hard target stuff for that one to work. Uh, lay waste. When you use your dire attack, enemies must now also make a fortitude save or be stunned. Stun DC is 20 plus highest ability score plus bonus to stun attacks. Uh, Dusk Surge. While in your Dreadnought Destiny Mantle, hitting enemies with your weapons has a chance to regenerate an action boost charge. Does not stack with other abilities that regenerate action boost charges. And finally, Action Hero. Epic moment for 20 seconds, you gain the following bonus. This ability is counted as an action boost. This ability has a five minute cooldown, which is not shared with other action boosts. Plus a action boost bonus to attack, plus 30 to melee and range power, plus 30% bonus to attack speed, double strike and double shot, plus 50% bonus to movement speed, plus 15 bonus to AC and PRR, plus 15% bonus to dodge, plus six bonus to thunder trip, Sun DC, saving throws, and skills. All right, so this is 4 o'clock, 4.04, actually. Um, so we're going to wrap up here because somebody else is coming on in an hour, and I told Cordo I'd be off by 4-ish at the latest. Um, thank you for tuning in. I will be back on, on my channel in about 30 minutes, so go ahead and give me a follow. Um, let me see here. Let me type it out for you. Hey, um, Twitch... dot tv slash magenta rv there you go go ahead and click that link and pop on over there i'm going to be going through each one of these action um epic destiny trees that's available and adding the information to ddo wiki um in about half an hour i just wanted to go through them all first to get a, a feel for them um thank you for watching see you in half an hour